Hey everyone, Freddie Miller here. Happy Friday. Wanted to come on uh, quickly and share a few thoughts um, of what's been going on last uh, nine weeks or so since this pandemic started and, and just my thoughts, my observations. I was doing a little morning bike ride right now and listening to John Maxwell and uh, the topic of his discussion was uh, this pandemic and how some people uh, have adapted and some people have not yet. And uh, you know, what's, what this is really, the pandemic has really been, has been a detour, right? The detour. It's been a detour in every single aspect of our lives, how we work, you know, some people are working from home. Some people don't have a job anymore. Some people, uh, you know, are with their family a lot more than they ever expected, you know? Some people are, are realizing a lot of things they hope they could do someday and then realizing maybe they don't want to do it, right? Uh, kids are at home, right? There's no school. I mean, you know, so many things have changed. The gyms are closed, churches are closed, so many things. and. I share that with you because, you know, in these times, uh, you know, they're really opportunities. You know, for me, I've had an opportunity to read like I haven't read in a long time. I've had an opportunity to, to delve into working out, but I've also had to adapt. And I, I share with you, you know, when, when this whole pandemic started, I started jogging. And for some reason, I just started getting knee pains and, and whatnot. And I got frustrated and started seeing a lot of friends of mine riding bike and, um, you know, burning a lot of calories. And I was like, that's what I want. So uh, I've had a road bike for a while. I live in a, in a part of Miami called Doral where, you know, people make a right turn from the far left lane. So I don't really trust riding a road bike in this area. So I got myself a, a crossover bike so I can get on the sidewalks and, you know, in the areas where I feel a little, um, I feel a little, uh, uh, you know, where I might be endangered, I tend to go on sidewalks and, and just take alternate routes that I probably can't do with a road bike. So I adapted on that aspect. I adapted by cycling now. I never really cycled frequently and now I do it like almost twice a day sometimes and uh, it's really make a dramatic impact on my body on my fitness and, and whatnot apart from a couple other things that I do from a personal development perspective guys I've, I've been you know visualizing like I've never before I've been expanding my mind I've been growing I've challenged myself uh, to, to improve in areas where you know I, I knew I needed improvement and I've been working on it I mean I'm working in progress always right I think we all are but I've taken the opportunity to improve. And my question to you during this pandemic, during this quote unquote detour, is what have you done to improve yourself? What have you done so that when we come out of this, as we come out of this, as things become normalized again, right? Where are you gonna be? Because guys, things will not be the same for a lot of people. Life is not the same for a lot of people right now and will be totally different as life normalizes, if you will, uh, going forward. So my question to you is, what are you? What have you learned? What are you learning? Who are you learning from? You know, is it finances you have to get better? What what book have you picked up? What what free video on YouTube University with a plethora of resources have you picked up? Have you listened to? Uh, if you need to lose weight, you know, uh, have you changed your diet? Have you educated yourself? Have you started taking better supplementation? Are you moving your body? Are you doing what it takes to, to, to work out? Are you, are you consistent, right? And you know, now more than ever, a lot of people say, man, if I had the time, if I had the time, <laughs> everybody's, mostly every single person has had time uh, during this uh, pandemic, during this quote unquote detour, to improve themselves, to take time to, to uh, you know, I don't know, seek, resources right seek and you shall find seek resources seek mentors seek better ways uh to provide for them and their family there's a lot of people that are going to come out of this pandemic uh or, or quote unquote detour like I, I like to call it um in a different career path they're just going to do something totally different they're done right they they finally found the moment to, to pause right if you will to reflect to think and you know i think that's one of the biggest challenges uh in society and 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 something that affects all of us is we don't stop pause, take time to think, meditate, and realize what's going on. Realize, you know, what we like, what's, what's causing us pain, what, what needs to change, what needs to change now, right? And um, so I share that with you because, you know, my challenge to you guys, as, as it always is, you know, my passion is to empower and inspire others to be, do, and have more in their life because, you know, so many have contributed to my life and, and I'm a better person as a result and, and I'm becoming day by day uh, because of, you know, other people's examples, other people's, uh, you know, um, you know, plethora of, of information that they've shared, uh, valuable information that, that makes an impact. But my challenge for you is, you know, when was the last time you sat down with no noise, no distractions, no TV, definitely no news, um, and just got a white piece of paper and asked yourself, what do I really want in life, right? What is it that I really want in life? And then, you know, once you, you know, spend maybe an hour or two on that, right? And just, you know, be free, you know, take any limiting belief 
off, right, uh, that, of, of what's possible. Assume that everything was possible. What would you really want to do in life? What would your ideal life look like, you know? Then number two, ask yourself, well, what would I need? Who would I need to be to be able to do that, right? What would I need to learn? Who would I need to meet? Who would I need to associate myself with? What would I need to do on a daily basis? And start getting creative with that. And, you know, I'd say the third point, which really ties into the second one is, you know, who would you need to meet or be mentored by? Or who is the example or examples out there that um, you can model so that you can advance in life? So, guys, hopefully what I've shared with you today um, has given you some insight, has, has made you stop to think, uh, to take advantage of this opportunity. Because, guys, I will tell you this. You will look back despite all the horrific things that have happened and, and things that I, I don't agree with that have happened, despite that, we've all had an opportunity to do something that I think is invaluable, to think, to grow, to read, to learn, to be better, to, to you know acquire new skill sets, to meet new people, virtually at least, right? Um, we have had an opportunity I don't think will ever happen again because I, I really doubt we'll have another pandemic and if we do I think we'll, we'll definitely be a lot more prepared but I share that with you because guys what are you doing to better yourself what are you doing to uh, come out of this as a brand new person as that ideal person that you wish at one point maybe when you're a teenager or you're in college that you dreamed and all of a sudden you stopped that all of a sudden you gave up on because guys I'm telling you everything in life is possible everything in life is possible obviously if you believe if you have expectancy and you get to work and obviously uh you know you apply a lot of things that i've shared with you so hope this helped you guys out hope you guys have an incredible memorial weekend i'll be sharing uh, some more videos uh and be a little more consistent because i have a plethora of things to share with you guys take care god bless friends your peace out fired up for life god bless see you soon boom